Okay, so here we have a mixed radical. It's got six and the radicand is two. So what, how to solve this question, there's an invisible two in the index here. So when the, when the number is outside here, let's say, so it's a two, you times it by itself twice. So to figure out how to simplify this, you would say six times six, and bring the two over here, times two. So break it down, six times six, 36, times two is 72, therefore your answer is 72. Here, in the index, it's three, which means you're gonna cube the six and then times it by two. So I just broke it down like, cause I know six times six is 36, times six is 216, times two is 432. Answer is 432. Here, it's four. So you just take the same concept, two times two times two times two times four, it's four, 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 and four cubed is 64. So your answer is 64. Over here, we are expressing radicals in different forms. So here's the question. First, we're gonna cube root the 27 and that equals to three. Now we're gonna use these variables. We're gonna deal with these guys. And how to do that is we break it down. So there's x to the power of five, so that's five x's. So I wrote down five x's, and then y to the power of seven, seven x's. So you're gonna wanna look for groups of three. So here's one, only one group of three, and there's two left over, and there's two groups of three, and there's one left over. So we're gonna put it all together. So the cube root of 27 is three. So we put that on the outside. And then you take the whole numbers, I mean whole groups. So there's one whole group of x and you put that outside. And you take, there's two whole groups of y's. So you put that, y squared. Don't forget your number and in index, and then whatever's left over, x squared and y, and that is your answer.